Good morning, everybody. How you guys doing today? All right, glad you guys can join me. So if you're new to this, then um, just so you know, the chart on the right, this is a counterpunch trader chart, 377 tick chart. The one on the left is the spotlight chart. I've come to the conclusion for myself personally, I like trading the counterpunch trader with this report and not because it does better than Spotlight. In fact, I would say Spotlight in the end is probably even more profitable. But as I said many times with the counterpunch, I'm able to finish sooner with this crude oil inventory report. So for me, that's my preference. If you are new to this session, it's important to practice and maybe not try to trade it live until you've <clears throat> really got your maneuvers down and know how to trade this and what to expect. Got a few minutes here. So remember, we're gonna wait our two minutes as we typically do, and then look for the first fresh setup. See the report coming out here any second. There it is. So you can see on the momentum bar with a uh, spotlight, a splat of bars, just a zillion bars, just because it's based on price, action, and range. The tick chart, of course, based on order flow and trades. So it's a completely different. I'm going to go ahead and mark this upper boundary here. And here's the lower boundary of the reaction. Let's see if it's going to break through. It did. We have another minute to go, less than a minute. Trade to watch at the moment is uh, long at 48.67. Still not ready to take it. Probably get another setup before then, usually. We're right back up into the middle of the range here. And hitting the money management level on the white trade. So now we'll just have to wait for a fresh setup. All right, so there's the two minutes. Now we're just waiting. Got a purple short, and that's at uh, 73. So the first trade is a short at 73. Stop is 93, and the target Order is 51 fill. and 30. Good size trade. And it did trigger in. Just stuck right in the middle there. So you got a swing high there at 93. You may want to put your stop one tick above that at 94. It might make a difference. Hopefully here it capitulates and starts breaking lower. So now you do have a stop and reverse. That would also be at 94. Order and filled. And it did stab through to 94. That one will be targeting 08. Actually, the uh, 11 is the target, 49.11 and 49. 19. Let's see if it could break through the range and start moving. Yeah, Spotlight's already uh, one and done basically with that small little 10 tick move, except that if you, yeah, actually, Spotlight getting it done. Let's see if now, <laughs> ironic, the Spotlight finished faster than Counterpunch today. So trying to get up to its target, and I would put my stop at 94 right now. It's a uh, Kind of the adjusted entry and you don't want to push it up too far and not give the trade enough room now it should go up to 97 hopefully it survives it could just Order burst through fill. 98 is really the stop but it stopped out so unfortunately missing its target there and now we have to take another trade and that's a short 48.93 that one's targeting 76 and 69 with a stop at 11. Not the greatest price action here. You can just see a lot of backfilling and no follow through. And it's kind of in the middle of the range again, near the upper side, but still in the middle of it. Order filled. It did get short. Let's see if it continues lower. Money management is at target one, and it just hit money management again. Hopefully it survives and pushes through. The failure to get higher maybe leads to a nice move lower, but so far... Nothing but backfilling and no real follow through. Patience, can it get through? Order filled. There it is. So finally a target one. Can it get to target two? Or target three, I mean, that Order was target filled. two. So hitting target three as well. <laughs> and now move your stop, 48.86. So if you're trading to target two and to target three, you should have achieved power of quitting barely but power of quitting nonetheless. If you're still trailing, you have the chance of more. And you can see uh, Spotlight's done very well with a couple winners in a row. Now the stop moving lower, 48.81. 
The new stop will be at 76, and there it is. And still in there, we get another push lower, and it stopped out. Well, for me, that's all she wrote. That trade got me to my power of quitting. Nothing exciting to really write home about. Unfortunately, the purple trade just didn't help us. If it wasn't for that, we would have been fine, but we had to overcome that, which we were able to do with these the next two trades that followed, at least I was. So hopefully it worked out for you guys. If you're trading spotlight, you should have done very well. And if you're trading unleaded gas, you would have done very well, because that one was another winner. Quickly flip over to that and show you. Unleaded gas, this is an optional trade. This would be a, a master suite trade, so you don't necessarily need to count that one if you're not using that setup. But this one would have been your first spotlight setup, which was great. Just hit target three and still going. And that's a really nice profitable move on unleaded gas. $4.20 a tick, and that's 84 ticks to target two, and 112 ticks to target three and still trailing. An excellent trade. And, you know, as I always point out, Spotlight's really good at catching those V-shaped reversals, as you can see it did here in this setup. So that one's still going. But that's all she wrote, guys. I know that unusual to have a crude oil report on Friday. It's just, you know, you hardly ever see it. I guess it has to be at the end of the year when New Year's and Christmas are both in the middle of the week. But uh, next week, we should be right back to normal schedule Wednesday crude oil report time again. And uh, well, hope you guys did okay with this session.